Okay, guys, so in this video, I want to talk about uh, manifolds. And I'm going to talk about one particular really interesting manifold that we can uh, actually visualize. And uh, that manifold, the same uh, time, is going to be a matrix rule. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider the upper triangular invertible matrices two by two. And let's describe them. So in this case, uh, this is going to be the elements of the form uh, matrix with entries A, B, and C. Yes. So they like upper triangular. In order like them to be invertible, I want to make sure that uh, diag the product of diagonal elements is non-zero. Because like uh, why why like why why we need to require that? Because remember that matrix is invertible if determinant of that matrix. Uh, so we have A C zero B is non-zero, but in this case, determinant is equal just uh, to AB. Okay. So we can see like, um, you can check that this actually um, is going to be a group um, and the properties which we need to check um, that is associative, uh, let me actually write down is a group. So it's associative, um, that it has an identity element and every element has its own inverse. And actually this is going to be a Lie group. Uh, or what is it like a Lie group is a group which is the same time as a manifold. So let me actually show you how that manifold look like, uh, looks like. And the idea is the following. So every time when we have a matrix, then we can identify this matrix uh, with uh, a vector space. So how I'm going to do that? I'm going to just consider the map uh, from the element A, uh, C, uh, zero, B. I'm going to send this element to uh, a column vector, A, B, and C. So right now I can think about this matrix as three-dimensional space. So let me sketch this three-dimensional space. Okay, and where is my, uh, this is gonna be my A, axis, B axis, and C axis. But what do we know about this uh, three-dimensional space? We know that uh, A times B cannot be equal to zero, yes? So from here follows that in our three-dimensional space, we require that comp A component cannot be equal to zero and B component cannot be equal to zero. Uh, why is this true? Because if either of these components is going to be equal to zero, then their product is zero. So uh, it, it's not going to belong. So that matrix is not going to belong to our space. So in other words, how you can think about this, every time when you're going to choose some point A with coordinates A, B, and C, then this point in three-dimensional space, which is obviously the manifold, uh, is going to correspond to some matrix, uh, which is a point of upper triangular uh, two by two matrices. Okay, but let's try to visualize what it looks like. So in this case, uh, to figure that out, let's first consider the complement. And the complement is going to be uh, the plane where A is equal to zero. Uh, but in this case, this plane is going to be given by um, uh, this plane over here, BC. So this is case when uh, A equal to zero. And the next plane is when B is equal to zero. So it's going to be my uh, B equal to zero. So remember that right now, if my point A is going to be either belongs to uh, this plane or to this plane, then this cannot happen because in that case, uh, A or B is equal to zero. So that point doesn't belong to manifold. So what points are going to be belong that, uh, to our manifold? Everything which is going to be the complement to these two blue planes. So in other words, it's going to be like three dimensional space with the, uh, without these uh, two planes. Uh, so I don't know, like I'm really bad in drawing. So let me try to uh, sketch it. So our like space is going to look uh, something like this. Uh, no, actually, let me sketch another one. Let me show uh, here. So our space is going to be uh, 
everything over here. Yes. But this side is kind of going to be dot. And since C over here can be anything, C uh, is anything. Uh, let's just show it, it's in R. Oh, I forgot to mention the most important part, the entries uh, of a, it's upper triangle matrices over reals. So uh, A, B, and C uh, belongs to the real numbers. Okay. So C can be anything. And since C is anything, then it means uh, this uh, thing just goes up, up and down. So we have something like this. Um, yeah, so and we have, uh, so basically we have your space consists of four blocks. And uh, the interesting part about the space right now, you can answer like really one simple question. How many connected components does the space have? Or in other words, what is uh, the uh, zero, uh, uh, how it's called like homotopy group of a UT2 of R. And from this picture, you can see it's equals to four because it has four connected components. Or in other words, if you're going, for example, to be in this first quadrant, uh, you will take the path between points A and B. Then you cannot escape to the uh, next block because every time if you want to, cross, to go to the next block, you need cross one of those boost lines, which you cannot. So basically you're going, if you're going to start moving within your path in some black, in some block, you're going to stay there forever. Okay, so that's like the, the, the geometric picture of upper triangle two by two uh, invertible matrices over real numbers, and which is, this space is a manifold. And basically like the idea is, since this space is a manifold, and when you constructed this map, you can show that this map, um, like a homeomorphism, then the original space uh, is also kind of the manifold. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you uh, like it. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, so if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And that's it.